folks, welcome to the Beans and Dice podcast. In today's episode, Robert and I, we're gonna play Unmatched, Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf. You're listening to the Beans and Dice podcast, a podcast about how we game. Thanks for sticking around, Beans and Dice podcast. I'm Carlos. I'm Rob. And today, like we said, we're playing Unmatched, Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf. Beowulf. Uh, this one just came in for me. I'm excited to play. If you look behind me somewhere, I can't like even... <laughs> Don't know what to do with my arms. One, <laughs> <laughs> one of these places behind me has a whole shelf. There it is. Whole shelf. That whole block is all unmatched stuff. You can tell I'm a fan. I, I like unmatched. Um, I've, I've enjoyed, I've got unmatched. Everything except for the Buffy unmatched. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure if I want to get Buffy unmatched. You're a completionist, you'll get it. I yeah. didn't though. <laughs> like I could have, like I had it, but and I, it was in my show. cart, but I didn't because <laughs> yeah. I've never seen the show. Yeah, I've never watched it either. Like, I just don't know. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see, it. we'll see. But okay, so I've got so this one just came in. I'm excited about this one because each time they keep seeming to, to to step up the the mechanics, they step up yeah, uh, I think the yeah. Maybe a little creep in power, a little power creep going on with the with the heroes. Okay. They seem to be getting stronger and stronger. So I'm kind of excited to play this one out to see how this is. Okay. Because Bruce Lee was just overpowered. B A. Too much. Like yeah. B A bad. Yeah. B A. That's what I've heard. O P. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, overpowered. So we'll see if Little Red Riding Hood or Beowulf are going to be able to keep up with what uh, what Bruce, Bruce Lee introduced. Yeah. I am playing Little Red Riding Hood. Of course you are. Um, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Fits your play style. Yeah. Uh, we have our board on the table here, so we're going to have a camera angle. You get to see the board itself. All right. So uh, remember that in Unmatched, all spaces are considered adjacent. They have a line touching that space. Uh, spaces are the same type if they have a color matching that space. So you can have line of sight for range purposes yep. to any space that matches the color of a space that you're in. Uh, you can be you are adjacent to any space where a line is connected. So in this edition, they brought in these doors. So there's the ability to actually close doors in this building. So when you close doors, you shut off the ability to have line of sight and adjacency. So that's cool because right. in this game, I, I think it's the first time I've seen where we can change what you have access to. Yeah, one of the other ones had doors and I remember, I, even though I haven't played much, I know I did I remember play those fogs. Doors. Well, there was doors on one of them. I remember having to open and close doors. Okay, yeah. I don't remember that one. Yeah. I remember the uh, the Raptor pen, but there wasn't a door on the Raptor pen nope, that I remember. No, that wasn't that one, yeah. So we've got doors, we've got spaces, adjacency. We talked about the board itself. Uh, I'm playing Little Red Riding Hood. Let me get you all into this model here so you can see this. They, they do great jobs with their models. They, they wash them, they make them pretty. So that's my, that's my Little Red Riding Hood. Over here is the Huntsman who is my, my, my ally. He's like my minion almost. Uh, my sidekick is the word they use in this game. So you'll see these two as my pieces. Show the folks, Rob, who you're playing. And I've got Beowulf. Uh, let's see where we're we going. Right, right there in the middle, yep. Yep. Pretty uh, majestic looking Viking there with his shield and his sword. Isn't that what they called you in college? Majestic, majestic looking Viking? Viking? No, I don't think that was it. <laughs> and then there's, uh, I assume it's Wiglaf. W-I-G-L-A-F is the little. Yeah, it's uh, too many consonances for me. Sidekick there. Consonances? Consonances. 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 <laughs> All right, so those are our, our folks. Rob is kind of the blue teal Viking uh, player. Of course. Oh, with beautiful dials. I mean, look. Oh, yeah, the, the artwork again is always so gorgeous on these games. This dial is gorgeous. Uh, you can see my dial is a little darker. It's got that darker red, so it's harder to see the Wolfsbane flowers on there. But even the backs of the cards, the decks. Uh, oh gosh, yeah. Got a glare there, but yeah, I mean, really cool artwork on the decks. They just do a great job with their art. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's the part, part of what entices me. Yep. So we're gonna get started with this bad boy, uh, and uh, we'll get set up here right now. All right. Setup time. So for setup, what we're first going to do is uh, shuffle our cards. Yep. We each going to draw five. After each, we, shuffle. we each get five cards from our deck. Live shuffle here for you. Ripple shuffle. No sleeves. I'm living Ooh, dangerous, Robert. Crazy. Living no, dangerous. No food in the area. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Got and it. then the youngest player. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Youngest player. Your youngest has sets up advantages. on position one. There's a little one on the board. Put it on the board. And then I have to set my huntsman in this in a space 
of the same type that my hero is in. Same train type, same, same train type. Yep. So do I put him outside? Remember, he's a ranged attacker. Yep. And the thing is, is this is an open way here, so it's not like that matters. Um, we, you know, we'll, we'll stick inside. We'll stay inside. So that's, that's me and my huntsman. All right, then the older player is gonna go on the two space on the board. There's a little two printed there on the diamond. So uh, my hero goes there, and then my sidekick, my uh, Wiglaf, uh, will go on a matching color there. Come on inside, right on uh, in. I think I'm gonna hang out outside for now. <laughs> <laughs> Big surprise. Yeah. Inside looks nice. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get going with turn one. All right, so I'm playing Little Red Riding Hood, and her, her card provides you the information on her abilities, uh, what she, how she attacks, how her psychic attacks, and then the special ability for that team. Uh, so I'll start off uh, Little Red Riding Hood. She is a melee character, so her attacks all have to be adjacent. She starts with a health of 14. She has a move of two. The Huntsman also has a move of two. He is a ranged attacker, so he can attack adjacent, uh, but he is also able to shoot anything within line of sight. Line of sight is, again, the, the color of the space that you're in. Right. Uh, and his health is nine. Our special ability is that I can resolve an effect on a card that I play if the symbol next to the effect matches the item in my basket. What's my basket? My basket is the, my discard pile. Right. So whatever card is on top of my discard pile, there's a symbol on that card. I will look at the card I play and match it to an ability on that card and trigger that ability. Right, and your cards potentially have three different symbols. There's a pelt, there's knives, and, and there's wolf's bane. Yep. yep. And it says at the start of the game, place Little Red's basket in her discard pile, which I have done. So Robert, who are you? Uh, I am Beowulf again. Uh, Beowulf and Wiglaf, they both have movement speed of two. Uh, Beowulf and Wiglaf are both uh, melee fighters, so they can only attack adjacents unless there's a special card that I don't know about yet that allows me to do something ranged. Uh, the health is 17 for Beowulf, Oof. nine for Wiglaf. So okay, I good. definitely have more health, but your ranged attack is gonna come in handy. And then mine is, I have these three uh, rage counters. I'll slide them kind of this way, uh, and I'll try to keep them on screen during the game. Yep. But we've got these three, uh, I says I start with one rage, so there's one flipped up and two flipped down. Uh, when Beowulf is dealt damage, he gains one rage. And uh, we looked, it's not one rage per damage, but just anytime I take any amount of damage in an attack or an effect, I get to add a rage or flip over a rage token. Uh, there's gonna be cards in my deck that allow me to do things with that rage. Uh, and then it mentions that I have a maximum of three rage. I have three rage tokens here, so. That's you, all right, so let's raise you up. Yep, absolutely. All right, so in, in a turn, so how does a turn work for uh, unmatched in a turn, we're gonna get two actions. It's a must, I have to take two actions. I have the option to maneuver, scheme, or attack. Uh, when I maneuver, I draw a card, and then I can move my fighters. That's an optional, I may, but I have to draw a card. Uh, when I scheme, I play a scheme card and trigger its effects based on how the card reads. Right. When I attack, I play an attack card, and then you'll have the option to defend yourself. We right. flip both of our cards, because we put them face down, flip them both, resolve the combat based on which card you chose, which card I chose, to determine the winner of the attack, someone's gonna take damage. Yep. And you can do the same action twice, even though there's three different actions, you can do the same one twice, you can do two different actions, uh, but you have to take two actions. It's a must, not a may. Winning the game. You win once the hero of your opponent is depleted of all life. No health, knock him all the way out. So knock him all the way out. Not, not the sidekick, but the hero. Right. Now remember, Robert, if your hero is ever out of cards from their draw pile, right. they're considered exhausted. If they ever have to draw a card while exhausted, they will take two damage. Two damage immediately. Immediately. Before anything else happens, yep. Uh, we'll get started. I guess I will go first. Yep, uh, we'll not say, guess, rule says younger guy. Youngest player, so that's it, you gotta do all it. All right. It's a must, not a make. All right, uh, for my first action, for my first action of the first turn, I'm going to play a scheme card, Robert. It's called Never Leave the Path. And because the basket I have already has symbols, a wild symbol, I get to trigger any one of these. So I'll get to trigger any one of these symbols down here. I'm gonna choose to trigger on the scheme the draw three cards. So that's gonna go to my discard and I'm gonna draw three cards. That's gonna be the first action. And when I maneuver, uh, I schemed, I will now maneuver, because maneuver is a must. I will, oh geez, there's gonna be a lot of cards in my hand. <laughs> You're gonna have to manage. Uh, I will maneuver, which means draw a card, and then I can move my fighters up to speed. 
There is a hand limit of seven. Uh, we were just looking at so yep. at the end of your turn. Carlos has drawn a bunch of cards. At the end of his turn, if he has more than seven in his hand, he will have to discard down. So uh, keep going through that deck as quick as you want. Ooh, I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as my second action, it's gonna be a maneuver, which is draw a card, which I've done. I'm gonna play a card here to the discard to use the boosting to make my speed four now for each of my fighters. Uh, I will start with the Huntsman. One, two, three, two, two. Question mark, yeah. Two, <laughs> two, three, 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 three. He'll move there. Okay. And then uh, Red will move one, two, three, Four to there because she's when I want to get into the fight. That's how she rolls. All right. So that is my first turn. So now it's on me. So two uh, actions two per turn. Now that you've moved in nice, you and can close. take the same action twice. Yes. And you don't have to maneuver. Right. You can maneuver, maneuver, fight, fight, or scheme, scheme. 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 Yeah. Um, or you can do maneuver attack, your choice. Okay. I'm going to do an attack. So when we attack, we just announce that we're attacking. We announce who is attacking and who is defending. So I'm going to have Beowulf attack a little red there. Why, well, I never. Yeah. Then what I do as the attacker, I then place my attack card face down on the table. And then you as the defender have the option to defend or not defend. So you don't have to use a card if you don't want to. You can just let me attack you and hit you in the face. And do, 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 do. All right, so you are defending. I am defending. So then we simultaneously reveal. Flip. All right, so we start off with uh, any special abilities that say immediately. Uh, if we are tied, the defender goes first. Right. So Robert has an immediate ability first. Uh, so his ability would trigger first. I'm playing the faint card, which says immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card. That bites. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get to play your text, what was your text going to be? Oh, but I messed it up because that symbol wouldn't have matched my uh, basket anyway. No, Good. No, I messed it all up anyway. I, you might as well throw that card away. But <laughs> <laughs> So it cancels my after combat effect. Okay. Right. Yeah. So then now we do any effects that say during combat. Okay, which we neither one of us we have. Neither one of us have. Then we resolve the combat. So you did two damage. And you did two defense. And I did two defense, so it negates it. Zero damage coming my way. Cancel each other then out. Then we do anything that's after combat, which look, I got one. Except you canceled it with your faint card. And you couldn't use it anyway because you didn't have a pelt showing. Because so, uh, English is not my first language. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so that was my first action. All right. Okay, and so my next action will be to maneuver. So maneuver, the first thing you do is you draw a card. And then you optionally may move your characters. Uh, I don't know how, remember if you explained, but in this one we have the option to close a door. Um, closing a door takes one movement, and I am going to close a door since you have a ranged fighter over there. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door right here. You gotta do the Tom Basil though. What's that? Shut the Shut door! The door! <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I'm shutting that door for one movement. I would assume it has to be Beowulf who does that because he's the only one that's adjacent to where that door space is. Yep, because you got to be adjacent to the door. He shut the door. Okay, so he shut the door. He's got one movement. I had my left. I had my throwing axes ready. Oh, of course. I'm gonna did. throw them through the doorway. <laughs> of course. And the did. door slams shut. Yeah. Like the strong Viking you are. Of course. You shut the door. Shut the door. And then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use. Uh, I would assume you're required to move complete all your the movement. For one. Of of one. Okay. So Beowulf has to, if he's gonna move, he needs to move now. He's gonna move one. We'll go ahead and move him here. Uh, friendlies can move through each other in this game. You can't move through enemies. Closing the door is free, right? Oh, is it free? Yeah. Is it closing is opening free is one, one closing is zero. Okay. Well, then I will move two, which is that movement speed to yeah. there. Because that's what Vikings do. They they run away. Yeah, run away. And then two to there. Well, we don't have a bow and arrow. <laughs> I'm not taking it in the face. But uh, okay. Uh, that is my turn. All right, so then it comes back to me. So top of my turn here, uh, I get two actions as well, and and I'm not as happy because Robert has chosen to uh, mm -hmm. shut the door on me. Shut the door. Uh, let's see. All right, so on my turn, what I will do, Robert, is I'm going to play in a, a I'm going to start with a maneuver, because I got to move. Okay. Draw so we're going to draw a card to maneuver, and then we will maneuver. Each character gets to move up to two spaces because that's their speed. Uh, Huntsman was going to go one out this door. One closer towards, towards Beowulf. She's going to uh, spend one maneuver, one movement to open the door, right. one movement to come out and become nice and friendly with you. And for my second action, we will do an attack. 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 All right, we will play a, an attack card face down. Okay. Robert so you're decides. From red to. No, I'm attacking uh, with oh. Huntsman ah. to Beowulf. Okay, yeah, that's important. Um, okay. 
Okay, I will defend. I'll defend with that card. You sure you want to defend? I'm defending. Okay, he's defending. All right, and now we both flip and we reveal. I have a during combat ability. I have a during combat. Defender always goes first. So uh -huh. during combat, yours triggers first. Uh, during combat, spend any amount of rage. This card's value is plus two for each rage spent. Right now you've got me at four to one, so right now I'd be taking three damage. If I spent a rage, it potentially would be down to one damage. Um, what is your ability though? Let me just see what's gonna trigger it's, that. It's uh, if I'm adjacent to you, which I'm not, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, well I'll spend the rage then. I'll go ahead and spend the one, so I will then, we will then resolve the attack. Now we resolve the combat. My four to your one. You've now made three. yours a three. Correct. One damage. To Beowulf from the Huntsman. So he will go from 17 to 16. So our cards go to our discard pile. That is my second action. Yep. Um, at this point, we, at the end of my turn, I discard down to seven cards. I do not have more than seven, and that ends my turn. Back to me. Back to Robert. Okay, for my first action, I'm going to play a, uh, what's the lightning bolt called again? It is- Scheme. A, a scheme, I'm gonna scheme. So I'll just play that card face up, the lightning bolt, it's Beowulf's card. It's a Vigor and Courage. It says choose an opponent. I'm gonna choose you probably. Okay. They discard one random card, and then I gain rage equal to the boost value on that card. So, go ahead. All right, Robert, <laughs> we're on camera for this one. What is he getting, what is he getting? Here. Oh, three. Three big ones. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I, and that's my card, bro. That's my card. That's the one. Oh. That's 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 little red's. Uh, what large hands you have? And you discard that sucker, so I get that out of your hand. I'm good. Uh, I'm good and happy with that. And I fill up my rage. I was at zero, and I immediately go from zero to three. So that's uh, that's pretty big for me. Um, my next um, action is I'm going to go ahead and attack uh, with Wiglaf to uh, little red. Okay. And I'm gonna play that card face down. I will defend face down. Okay, let's flip them. Boom, so let's put them I on board. I have an after combat, you have an after combat. Okay. Defender is always triggers first, so during combat, you're doing three damage. Three to two. I'm defending two. I will take one on little red. And then you're... So she's down to 13. After combat ability, it says deal three damage to the opposing fighter. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna take three on Wiglaf. He will go from nine to six. That Man. hurts. Man. Punch you back, bro. That hurts, yeah. What, she hit me with her basket or yep. her, her we'll red We'll do this, we'll put our, our... Yeah. That way they can be seen on this camera angle at least. Okay, kind of leading down there. And then my ability is uh, Wiglaf may swap spaces with Beowulf after the attack. So we're gonna go ahead and swap places. Oh, there. things escalated fast. Uh, yeah, we'll get him back out of the way. Suddenly things have escalated. All right, so that takes care of Robert's two actions. You discard down to seven. So I'm good. You're good? Yep. I'm gonna declare an attack, and it's gonna be attack oh. from, oh, that's right, it's attack face down. Folks, it's hard to remember, <laughs> but in this game, you play your attacks face down. Now first you announce who you're attacking, where from. So it will be an attack from Little Red, Right to Beowulf, adjacent. Right to Beowulf, okay, so you're attacking, you've played your attack card. I will defend, so I will play my card face down as well. I guess we'll just put them out here where people can see them. Yeah. And we'll flip. All right, so I'm playing, uh, what big ears you have as my attack? You're playing the equal of Grendel. Right, and mine has an immediate ability. I do not. Which mine says you may spend two rage to deal damage to the opposing fighter equal to the printed value on their card. And I will do that. I'm gonna spend two to do four damage to you. <laughs> wow, that Ooh. that hurt fast. Back at you. That, that cut deep. Yeah. She's down to nine. Okay. All right, so now we continue with the combat. I'm doing four damage, you're negating three, you take one. Take one, so Beowulf will go from 16 to 15. Yep. And then this goes to the discard pile. That's it, okay. And I will do a second attack. But this time it will be, you know what, same same attack or same target. I, I gotta put some damage into Beowulf. I gotta get, I, you're at 15. Not a good place for me to be. Hmm, I will, I'll defend. Oh, you're out of cards, Robert. Yeah, my last card. So I'm doing a stones in the belly. Okay, and we both have during combat effects, so mine would go first. Mine says spend any amount of rage. This card's value is plus two for each rage. I'm currently, you're at a two, I'm at a one, so I'm currently taking one damage. 
Uh, I could spin the rage to negate it. Let's see, yours is your opponent discard. Not gonna happen because it doesn't match my basket. Uh, Symbol doesn't match my basket. Right. So I gotta decide now to take the one. I think I'll just take the one. Death so by a thousand cuts. I can rage. live with that. Yeah. I'll save <laughs> so the rage. Take one damn. 15 to 14. <laughs> Down one. All right, Robert, it's on to you. Yep, so what I'm gonna do here is uh, my first action, since I have no cards, is going to be maneuver, so I can get some cards in my hand. So maneuver, you always start by drawing a card. So I draw one. Uh, I may now move my characters up to their speed of two, if I'd like. Um, kind of hemmed in here. I can't uh, do anything other than maybe swap positions. So I'm going to, you know what, I am gonna swap. I'm gonna move Beowulf one and then I'm gonna move Wiglaf one. And then I will, I got you penned in the corner, homie. I'm gonna scheme as my second action, actually, and play the card that I just drew. Uh, this is Remnant of Valor. It says Wiglaf deals one damage to each adjacent fighter. If Beowulf was dealt damage, gain an action. So I'm gonna do one to me and one to you. So Little Red's gonna take one and Beowulf's gonna take one, which knocks me to 13, you to eight. Yeah. Uh, and since I did damage to Beowulf, I will get an action. Um, so oh, an extra action. An extra action. It's so like the Raptors. Yeah, I get to go. Always take an extra action. <laughs> so as my third action this turn, I'm going to, again, I have no cards, I'm gonna maneuver. So I'm gonna draw another card and then I'll see if I want to move at all. And um, it's cool because I, I have you pinned into the corner here. Yeah. So if you folks watching at home, uh, he's got no out. The Huntsman's on one side, Red's on the other. Now Red's taking some damage, so yeah. So may not... Red may want to run away, <laughs> get out of the way. But I am actually going to move again. I'm going to maneuver again. I'm going to put them back in the positions they were before because they can each move up to two, and I'm done. <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah. There's so much dancing going <laughs> on. I have no idea back, what's going on. Some damage, so and that's it. That's my turn. All right, I'm going to start my turn myself with a maneuver. So I will start by drawing okay. my card. Uh, and then I will decide if I want to move anything, which, you know, I, I think I, I'm i not, jeez, oh, man, I'm, I'm being beat up by you. I, I want to run away, <laughs> but I know so the moment I move, I, I let you out. Yeah. I, I will spend I will spend one to oh. move into here. I will spend a second. Oh, what are you doing? Closing the door? Closing the door is free. <laughs> right. So I will close the door. Yeah. And then spend a second movement <laughs> to keep on trucking. Run away. <laughs> Run away, little red. Run away. Run away. Uh, that is my two actions. No, that was oh, my first, first action. action. Yeah, that was maneuver. Yeah. Maneuver. And then my second action will be to play a scheme card. I will play uh, Grim Tail. Uh, little red recovers two health. And that's uh, the symbol does not match. match. You don't get to do the additional. I can't do the additional, which makes it four, four health. Four. Wow. This deck is, this it's this tricky. character is rough <laughs> because you tricky. have to match everything you play to what you've already yep. played. Yep. You gotta find a way to combo up. And you wanted to get a belt and that's in not there, me. So you can double that up. That's, I just, I don't think like that. Yeah. So that's your two actions? That is me. All right, it's Robert's turn. Okay, and uh, I just realized something looking at things here. When uh, my ability for Beowulf is anytime he takes damage, regardless of where it comes from, who gives it to him, uh, he takes rage. And so on my last turn, uh, Carlos is gonna allow me to roll this back just a little bit. My yep. Remnant of Valor, when, um, when Wiglaf hit uh, Beowulf as well as Little Red, I should have gotten a rage because there was a damage that he took there. Take your rage. Yep, so regardless of the amount of damage he takes, he gets a rage. Now folks, all, all you beans at home, <laughs> if at the end of this game he wins, I oh, want you to roll back yeah. to this very moment. Sure. And remember, it's because I, <laughs> I let Out him. Out of the kindness of his own heart, <laughs> <laughs> he let me take it back. But So then my first action action is gonna be a maneuver. I need more cards in my hand, I'm down to just one. So I'm gonna draw a card, and then I can move each of my characters up to two spaces. Every fighter can move up to two spaces. So I am going to move just one here with uh, Beowulf, and then I'm gonna move one, two with Wiglaf. And I'm gonna let him go start working on the door over there next time. Um, after that move, I am going to do an attack, and I'm going to attack from Beowulf to, um, who is that? Is that the, the Huntsman. The Huntsman. The Huntsman. I'm going to attack from Beowulf to Huntsman. I'm going gonna... to bring your card over here. I'm going to threaten with this card, and are you going to defend? I am defending. All right. We flip them. 
I have a during combat ability. You have an after combat ability. But it doesn't trigger because my basket doesn't match oh, the cards. Exactly. I don't have the right ad <laughs> items in my basket. Gotta match those things up. Got a basket. Yeah. There's nothing in it that's useful. Tisk it a task it. Uh, so the attacks is three to two. Uh, so right now I'm up on you by one. Uh, it says well, during that, combat happens first yep. before we do damage. So during combat, right? I just was kind of uh, counting where we're at at the moment. But it says I may now spend two rage to make this card's value five instead of three, <laughs> which would put three damage through. Uh, it says you may spend one rage to boost this card, and I do not want to do that. I don't. Well, he doesn't have the rage. He's gonna have to spend the two rage, yeah. just enough rage to. You see how he asked me, "Hey, yeah. can I roll that oh, yeah. back and get that rage That's up?" When I read that, I was and, like, "Hey, how do I get that rage?" Now ah, I need to and I get no, that rage. Yeah, there you go. As we call it. <laughs> Placata. It's a combo. <laughs> Placata. <laughs> In your face. But, so that makes now, now a five to a two. So your huntsman will take three damage. Three damage to the, the huntsman. Actually, All right. From a nine to a six. Yep, that's a third of his life. A little red's at what, 10 life? Oh, I must have had a backward. I thought she was down to six. Here, we'll move this Oh, up. she healed. Oops. That's right. She healed a little bit. I forgot she healed. All right. Move that up a little bit. You guys can keep seeing. That is my second action. I did a maneuver, then I did an attack. So it's uh, I, have, I discard down to seven. I only have one, so I'm good. All right, I'm gonna keep it rolling. I'm low on cards. I think maneuver is the right thing for me to do because I need some cards here. I'm gonna start with drawing a card, and I didn't notice you're also down to one card, or we're down to one yeah, card. Yeah, and it's, it stinks because you're like out of options. Yeah, you can't do much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then I will now maneuver. So we will move. Uh, I did my maneuver. I'm gonna move stuff. We're gonna go one, two. Huntsman's gonna back up because that hurt. Up to two. That hurt. But yeah. little red's like ah. She around the corner. There. Oh, she got yeah, she a just, little red card. Oh, a little red card came up. And up. on my second action, I will attack. A punch. All right, bring it. Um, so you're attacking from Little Red to Beowulf. Yep. Hmm. I think I'm going to take it this time. Okay, finally, good. Yeah. Take it, take it. <laughs> take a light chip. All right, so I'm just going to flip it because yep. Robert's not defending. It is oh, four damage. that's rough. Straight up four damage, she takes it. Takes me down to nine. And what's nice is it gives me a wild. Yeah, this card acts as a wild now that it's in uh, my discard pile, so I can now play anything it'll match. Should have probably defended that. So that was my second action. Correct. First action maneuver, second action attack. Yep. I don't have more than seven cards. That ends my turn. And I know my first action already is going to be uh, a maneuver. I'm again, down to one card. Don't have a lot of options here, so I'm going to draw a card. And that's not the card I was looking for. So is this the card, <laughs> Robert, is this the card you're looking for? not the cards you're looking for. Is this the card you're looking for? I'm gonna move up to my speed of two with uh, uh, Wiglaf. Actually, now I gotta decide, do I wanna open that door? No, I don't wanna open that door. I'm gonna come around the outside. Around, around the, the outside. outside. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm sorry, folks. Two with Beowulf. <laughs> and then I am going to do another maneuver to draw another card. And... Choose to move if you'd like. Yeah, choose to move if I'd like. I can look at that card in a moment. Um, I think I will, yeah. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think I will move. <laughs> I'm gonna go one. Ooh, or will I? If I move up there, I get into your range. Um, we'll go one, and then over here, I'm gonna go one, two. And I'm done. All right, I think things are moving now because uh, we're out of cards. Yeah, so not a lot of options. We gotta maneuver a lot. <laughs> so I will <laughs> maneuver. Uh, maneuver. Mm -hmm. good, good idea. Uh, good so idea. I got a little maneuver going on here. And then I get to move stuff. And I think I wanna prepare for your little swing around here. So we're gonna go one, two, one. You know, here, here, here is range for that area, so yeah. he doesn't need to move. Yeah. He's in a good spot. And then I will maneuver a second time. And that's all I can do. You gotta move again? You couldn't move a second time. I'm twice. not no? unhappy with where I am. Okay. You know what? Let's let's go there, because at least you, you don't have ranged combat, but I'm prepared to move anywhere there. You're up. Okay. I will do a maneuver on my first action, so I'll draw a card. I'm going to go, I think one, two. Yeah, I will move Beowulf. I'm gonna go one, two, back toward the door with Beowulf. And then my second action, I'm gonna do an attack from Wigliff to Little Red. And I'm gonna attack with that card. And would Little Red like to defend? Little Red will defend. Okay, we reveal. I have an immediate. 
Uh, I have an after. Uh, mine is uh, cancel all effects on your opponent's card. The Dang same card you played nabbit. last time. <laughs> I get to cancel it again. I only attacked for two. It's a faint card. Uh, you then get to defend for two, so no, no damage. damage. Goes through. Ah. Yeah, so a little bit of a waste there for mine. You just canceled me out, but that's my two actions. I discard down to seven. Again, I'm at three now, so I am done. All right, so on my turn, I'm going to start with an attack, and it's going to be Little Red onto Wigliff. So we'll put the camera here. There's my attack card, waiting for Robert to play. Will he defend? I'm going to take that one. Okay, good. Let, <laughs> let, let the sidekick take the damage. The bodies hit the floor. Uh-huh. What's in the basket? Oh, another four. Four damage. Wow. Okay. Takes Wigliff down from six to two. Yes. What's in the basket? That one's a wild, right? Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to do a second action, and it's going to be into the woods. It's a scheme. Okay. Uh, because this card is wild in my discard pile. Uh, well, actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, yeah. Move Little Red up to three spaces and gain an action. So Little Red will move one, two, three to get away from your mean, mean oh, guy. Run away. She, she's supposed to. She's the little girl. Oh, she's I supposed to. Okay. You're the big bad Viking. Okay. That's not how it's supposed to work. All right. Uh, so I gain an action, and that action will be maneuver, because I need some cards. Okay. So I'm going to draw a card. And then and now wow. I can move my huntsman. And this is open. Uh, is that open? Yes, yeah, because you see the lines. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, it looks like a so, the wall there. But uh, he, will, he will go one. Didn't realize that was open back there. Uh, two, because that puts you always one space away from oh, me. Looks like it's, yeah, like a big open barn. There's just a little wall on the top. Yeah. Okay, cool. That is it for me. Okay, so what I will do, I'm going to start out with a maneuver since you've run away and I'm all melee. Oh, I've run away. Oh, yeah, you run no, away. Tactical <laughs> repositioning. Oh, ta tactical retreat is what, I, <laughs> what I'm hearing. So I draw a card. I can move each of mine up to two, or I can boost, and I am going to boost um, with uh, just a one boost. The boost number here is the little number in the circle, so that will make my moves now three instead of two. It's the equal of Grendel is the card I'm playing, defense for Beowulf. I'm glad you're burning that one, because that one hurt me last time. Yeah, it's, it's good defense. Burn it three. for a boost. So it's one, two, three, gets me adjacent there, and then one, two, three is gonna get me adjacent over yonder to my own uh, uh, Wigliff. And then my second is going to be I'm going to play an attack, I believe. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. I'm going to attack with uh, Wigliff to Little Red. And I'll play that. And will you be defending? I choose not oh, to defend. Oh, with your one I card. I'm choosing. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I've got attack of four. Uh, any character can play it. It's a skirmish. And uh, so it does four damage immediately, so it gets you down to six. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> and then after combat, uh, I can move one of the fighters in combat up to two spaces, if I won the combat. Yep. Move... You you won the combat, so you can choose any of the two fighters, uh, Little Red or Wigliff, right, and move them up to two spaces. Two spaces. Um, and I think I will do that. I'm going to move Little Red one, two. Oh, nobody puts baby in a corner. Yeah, put her in a corner. <laughs> and I'm done. That's my two actions. Is that your two? Yeah. All right, my first one is going to be a maneuver, so it's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to draw and determine if I want to move my fighters, uh, which I think I will. I think it's, it is time to regroup, folks. It sounds lame, but we're going to go one. <laughs> Does that mean run away? Is that what that's two. short for? <laughs> and little red will go one, two. Mm, that's to help you get away. Yeah, my second action is going to be a scheme card. And it's, a, again, into the woods. Going to heal again. Uh, she can run three, one, oh. two. And I think that's as far as I want to go there. And then she gets a free action. Uh, the free action that we're going to gain now is going to be another maneuver. maneuver. Imagine that. Gets um, another maneuver. I can move things up to two more spaces. Um, so we will, I think moving, I'm happy with where I am. OK. I'm happy. You know, you can boost to get in, so I will move him one. All right. 
Well, back to me. I'm going to start no, with. No, no, Robert. No, Robert. I take it back. Right. I take it back. <laughs> I like. Decide. I like. See, he's in this space right now where it's orange and black. Yeah. It's so if I heavy. stay there, he can throw axes at either of those spaces. But if you boost your maneuver, you can get in the melee combat with him. I. Stuff to think about. Yeah. It's a lot to think about. He will stay. Final answer. All right. You sure? Yes. Okay. I'm going to maneuver first, so I'm going to draw a card. And I'm going to move. I'm just going to use the two move, so I'm not going to boost, not going to get up in your face quite yet. I'm going to go one, two. You get up in my face that up. way. <laughs> get up in your face without getting the boost. In a different boost. direction if I get up in your face. Just do that a little, little bit differently than what you miscalculated uh, that. You got right saw, there. It's all coming. Uh, so I'll move Beowulf two as well. He'll go one. Uh, I'm going to go there for two. And then I will, actually, I'm going to maneuver again. I'm, I'm going to draw a second card. No, we're not fighting. And then, no, not yet. And then I'm going to move again. I can move two. So I'm going to move Beowulf one. Hold on. I think I'm going to move Wiglyph first. I'm going to go one, two, and then I'll move Beowulf one, two. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, geez, man. See, I want to just end Wigliff. Yeah, I just want to get him out of there. He's only got two life left. <laughs> but Beowulf has presented himself as a nice, juicy target. Why, he has. Yeah. So it makes it harder for me to determine who do I want to attack first. First? Ooh, going to double up on huh? uh, You know what? It's going to be an attack, and it's going to be the Huntsman against Beowulf. Hmm. Okay. And there's my attack card. And you decide, sir, if you're going to defend. Let's see, how many life do I have? I've got nine, you've got six. I will not, I'm gonna take it. Okay, and we flip. It's once upon a time. So it's gonna be an attack of two. Do you match a thing? Uh, my <laughs> ability is after combat. I did match a yeah, thing. Yeah, you did. Uh, so during combat, I do two, two. damage to you. So yep. two to your Beowulf. Yep. And then it says after combat, if this symbol matches the symbol that's in my discard, which guess what folks, it does! Bing, 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 combo! After combat, deal three damage to the opposing fighter. Takes me down to four. Yeah, that hurts. Yeah. That hurts a little bit. That's, that's my first action. Yeah. Uh, my second action is uh, run away. Run away. <laughs> We're going to run maneuver. Away. We're going to maneuver, uh, which means I draw a card. Oh, and Beowulf will take a... Rage for taking rage. damage. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you remember. Rage, yeah. This, uh, so remember that time. We can move two spaces. Little Red will move one, two, and we will... Jeez, because he will catch me. I need to boost it to get away. They will all catch me. Yeah, if you go one more, Beowulf that's, will just come the other way. I'm fine. I'm good. That's that's where I'm not going to move the, uh, the Huntsman at all? That is all, folks. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to scheme. And I hate conniving. I hate to doing this with just one rage, but I'm going to do the uh, Golden Drinking Horn, which says spend any amount of rage, choose a different effect for each rage spent. I can only spend one rage, but in doing that, it says I can move up to four spaces. So I'm going to oh. one, two, three <laughs> to get on top of a little red there. And then I'm going to do an attack from Beowulf to red. That's just mean, man. And uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna use this one. And is red going to defend? I think I have to. I mean, I guess I have to. Yeah, probably. You're down to six. I'm down to six. That's a four. That's a four. Oh, so I got an after combat. I don't. Yours doesn't. So mine just says if I won the combat, I draw two cards, but no. Nope. You did not win. Out. No damage done. You did not win. What else are you doing? So that's, uh, that was my two. That was a, oh, that's it? That was the scheme and an attack. Okay. So back to you. All right. Um, I'm in a tough pickle. I'm in a pickle. Pickle? I'm in a pickle. I'm going to start with a maneuver, uh, which gives me a card to draw. And uh, I will immediately play said card. Yeah. Um, maybe. Will I? Oh, geez. Is a scheme? Because you got me trapped, Robert. Yeah, you got to move. I'm pinned. I'm pinned. You got to move first if you're going to move. Um, we will move. Okay. Uh, we will go Huntsman. We'll move one. Okay. 
Red will move one, two. Okay. And then we will scheme. Mm. Red will scheme with an into the woods. Dash away. Oh. Dash away. On the run again. One, <laughs> two, three. Wow, out of town. And gains another action. Okay. We will draw for a maneuver. Maneuver, okay. And movement. Let's go. One to there. Nope, nope. One to there. Let's try to block off the path to red. That's it for me. That's it for you. Okay. That is it for me. All right, for my turn, I am going to maneuver down to two cards. So I need to draw one. So I draw a card and I can move up to my speed of two unless I want to boost. And I don't think I'm boosting. I'm just going to move two. All right, so I'll move with Beowulf, I'll go one, two, and over here we'll go one. Come on next two. to the Huntsman, he yeah, wants to play. And then uh, second action, I believe I'm gonna go ahead and just play the card I just drew. Uh, yeah, I will. I'm gonna choose uh, this Beowulf uh, Vigor and Courage card, a scheme card. It says choose an opponent. We've done this before. They discard a random card. Oh, come on, bro. I get rage equal to the boost value. So hold oh, on. Let's, let's get another three or at least two here. Let's go under here. Oh, it's a two. So I'll take and two it's rage. my defense card. All right. <laughs> get rid of a little red. All uh, right. Defense. All right. All right. And that is my two actions. All right, so I'm going to start with a maneuver. I'm going to jump right in, Robert. We're going to okay. maneuver, which means I draw a card, and then I'm going to... Run away? Uh, yes, run away. <laughs> Tactical <laughs> repositioning. Yeah, you're going to move the Huntsman? And over. the Huntsman will move one, two, next to Beowulf. Okay. And my second action will be an attack. And... There's my attack card. I have to defend this time. So you sure? You want to? You defend? Yeah, you have sure. to? Yeah. Okay. I'm playing Long Have I Sought You. It's a Huntsman attack. I haven't immediately just let you know the cancels all, or no, I'm sorry. Spend two rage. Two rage to, to deal. deal damage to you equal to the amount of your attack, which is a four. Oh, so oh, that hurts. You're going to take four. Oh, so Huntsman's taking two. four. Oh, he's still alive, though. That's still good. Alive, still, still alive, still alive. All right, now do so your thing. So I'm going to do four to you. Uh, negating by three makes one damage to you. That takes me down to three. Uh, if the Huntsman's adjacent to the fighter, it's a value of six. So it's actually another two more. Oh, look at that. I, I've one. sought you. Yeah, Long have I know. sought you. <laughs> Two dudes fighting in the woods. Back at them. Yeah. All right, that is my two actions for me. Now it's back to Robert. Yep, my first action is going to be an attack. It's going to be Beowulf on the Huntsman. Would the Huntsman like to defend? Do I just let him go and save my defenses for my girl? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, but then you got me two to one, but I've got your guys down. Let's not be, yeah, let's, down to two let's and not, one. Speaking yeah. of two and one. Yeah. <laughs> two life, one life. Two life on Wigliff and one life on Beowulf. Yep. I'm not in a bad spot, so I think letting him take the damage is the right answer. Oh, and actually, I don't know if you'll still let me do this. When you just attacked me, oh, yeah, I would get you a rage. Also get a rage so back. I would get a rage. There you go. Oh, right. wow. So, so it was, yeah, he's going to be dead anyway. Yeah, still, still You're going to kill the Huntsman anyway. I'm not even going to spend time defending. All right. Go ahead. So I'll play that one. Uh, it's my last card in my hand. Your epic poem. It's an epic poem. So I immediately gain a rage. So that'll get me to two rage. And then during combat, this card's value is plus one for each rage you have. So it turns from a two to a four. And you don't have to spend the rage. It's just for having right, the rage. Just for having it. That's beautiful. So, so that's going to go ahead and finish off the Huntsman. At least All right, the that thing. is it. Huntsman is dead. He's at zero. Take we'll him off the board. Pull him off the board. And then my second action is going to be a maneuver. I have no cards in my hand. So I need to draw the right card there. Well, that'll possibly work. I'm going to move two, one, two, and then I'm going to go one, two with good old Beowulf. And I'm done. Oh, look who's running now. I'm look running towards you. Running, running at now. you. <laughs> uh, we're going to start with a maneuver, folks. And I'm going to do my... Jeez. Uh, my second action... Jeez. 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 Uh, so that's a maneuver, so I get to move. I will move one. Second action Ooh. will be what's in your back, uh, an attack card. Oh, attack card. Oh, okay, so um, coming at me, huh? Coming at, uh, so a little red onto the two life Wiglyph. Oh, man. So do you burn your defense cards to save your sidekick? I did. I am not going to. <laughs> okay. oh, I'll take it, so. It's uh, what's in the basket, and it's a four damage card. Dead, dead. He did. So both our sidekicks are dead. That ends my turn. I don't have more than seven cards. I'm complete. 
Okay. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm okay. going to go ahead and I'm going to do a maneuver. So I will draw a card. And then I'm going to go one, two, and we're going to... And she just looks at you and says... It's six to one, so uh, you have a pretty good chance here. But I'm going to go ahead and I I've got to attack, I think. Um, yeah, we'll do an attack. So attacking on Little Red. And I choose not to vent. Really? Yeah, you choose not to, huh? <laughs> I choose uh, not to. I've got the War King. During combat, spend any amount of rage to add plus two for each rage oh, spent. Oh, so it's going to be oh, one short of oh, what I needed. Oh, that hurts. But that's going to be five of your six. Uh, Ouch. Spending all of my rage. So I, I, I'm assuming it's not going to be good for me here uh, coming back. But you will, I believe, be down to one life. Yeah. I am down to one life. And uh, roll that dial down. I want to see you roll that dial oh, down. Oh, gosh. That... <laughs> I'm still a little, a little shocked, a little stunned, a little stunned. I got one card stunned. here. <laughs> can, it, can it make the difference? Let's see. All right, so I will, I, I know what I'm doing here. Um, because I have a wild in my basket, oh, I can yeah. play this card and go. get its full ability. Yeah. We're going to do Grim Tail. Oh, that's the Huntsman has to play it. Oh, it is a Huntsman card, yeah. Oh, he that's is not around to play said card. I have so, a feeling you're going to uh, reposition. <laughs> I'm going to reconsider what I'm doing here. Yeah. One moment. All right, so here we go. Um, since I can't. You know, uh, the Huntsman's dead. I'm going to maneuver. I'm going to draw a card, and I may move. I will choose not oh, to move. Oh, that's not a good decide. <laughs> and I will attack as my second action. I can't defend, so it's over. Cannot defend? Nope. Not will not, but cannot. Uh, and my attack could. card is I'm Little Reds. Four. What big ears you have. Wow, big old four. Four damage. And that's four damage onto Beowulf, thus ending his life. And you would have comboed that up as well. Uh, yes, because I had a wild, wild there, yeah. but that just means I could have played it as a defense card. Oh, okay. That's all that combo card did there. Gotcha. Kind of stunk that I couldn't play the Huntsman card. Uh, uh, but talk about a tight game. One life to one life. <laughs> one life to one life for the heroes. Both of the sidekicks knocked out. Yeah. I wasn't sure where this was going. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how this thing was going to end out. It was a lot of a lot of back and forth play. Uh, so that was a, a playthrough of Unmatched, Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf, the new version that just came out. Uh, so we'll give you our thoughts here now. Uh, just quick thoughts. Um, not going to go too deep into the Unmatched series. I already said I'm a, I'm a big fan. I want to focus yeah. more on what we saw in this pack. Sure. Uh, what did you see in this pack that you liked? Um, well, I liked your character, even though you it wasn't your favorite. I mean, that really. I was, think this character would have been right up your alley. Character, yeah, trying to do the. Although you like and, Vikings, yeah. So I thought it was cool that you got to play Beowulf. Well, this one's definitely simpler to play. I think a little more straightforward. Um, all you got to really do is manage your rage. I just got to remember that each time I get hit, that I got to take the rage. I think I missed that once or twice during the game. Yep. So that uh, that did a thing there. But uh, I, uh, I like the balance here. One of them's a lot more aggressive, I think, kind of more hitty. Uh, both of them, the attackers being melee. On your side, you've got a ranged and a melee, so you can kind of wait for the cards for a little red to decide when she wants to move in, when she's got the combo. Hopefully, if you're comboing that up, you get the big hand of cards, you combo that up. While you're doing that, you can kind of have the huntsman in the back kind of just plinking away, uh, uh, keeping your opponent off guard and not just letting them sit there. But uh, yeah, I like the balance between uh, between those two characters and, and this character between Beowulf and Wiglaf. Um, I saw a lot in Little Red that had to do with uh, dealing damage as a defender. So there's oh, some okay. cards in there that was nice I was able to do damage to you as a defender. There's also cards that I could do damage to you after the combat. Mm -hmm. So kind of the, the surprise extra damage yeah. that you're not expecting. You know, you might defend, but then still take some damage. Um, I struggled with Little Red's special ability. So w when it comes to Little Red's ability, it's, it states that when you play a card, to in, in order to trigger the the special action, additional action. on the, the additional action on the card, I have to match the symbol on that additional action to the top card of my deck. Yep. So everything I did had to be in the mindset of doing this so that I can do this. It requires a lot of coordination. Yeah. Which it's not my play style. Yeah. But once I started doing it, it felt good because it did oh, cool yeah. stuff. When you pull it off, yeah, it's really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's like, I did it! <laughs> four damage! Yeah, and your attacks aren't bad. I mean, you're, you got a lot of, uh, even for red, I think she's got some no, four damage. Four she's got a lot of four damage in yeah. there. And the Huntsman's no joke, when, especially with those two cards in there that had the mm -hmm. uh, the adjacency. So if I'm adjacent to you, they become six damage. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. pretty big. Yeah. 
And then the uh, equal of Grendel that I played, if I have the two rage to spend uh, on defense, it's a good defense at three, but then it allows me to immediately hit you for whatever amount of damage you were threatening. That so, scared uh, me because yeah. that wasn't an like, extra damage, like, oh, take another two. Yeah. That was like, take what you gave. And that's immediate, so if you were to hit me for the last blow and you were down to the one, <laughs> that, that, I could have flipped that 100. I would have taken the five, <laughs> yep, four been, damage. You'd have been dead before me, so, yeah. I like Little Red's card here, uh, never, leave, never Leave the Path because there's, there's actually three different options on that card for actions, and they're all based on a symbol. So depending on what card I just played before in my discard pile, one of those would trigger. Right. So this one is going to trigger. Mm -hmm. right? Just which one is going to trigger depends on what I played last. So that's, that, that's fun. Similar to the golden, uh, golden Drinking Horn, which I didn't use to its full advantage, but I can spend any amount of rage and then choose one of these three different things uh, for each rage that I spend. I can draw two cards, I can move up to four spaces, or I can recover two health. So that's kind of a similar, uh, it's got some, yeah. some options there, which is really cool. But I, w unfortunately, when I had to use that, I only had the one rage, so I could only choose one. So you, you really want to have two or three so that you can multiply that up and do several things. But yeah, it's really cool. Uh, this is not the first unmatched set that I've purchased, and there's a reason behind it. I think the, the um, coming from a, a war gamer, miniature war gamer mm -hmm. uh, guy, I originally thought that this board was not going to be tactical enough to be able to feel like I'm playing a miniatures game. Yeah. Uh, but I've said it every time we talked about these games, it, it really does. It does feel like because of the differentiation in the colors of the spaces impacts your line of sight to different places, mm -hmm. I do feel like there's movement on the board matters. Sure. There were times where I pinned you. There were times where you pinned me and mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to escape. Oh, it it gave me that, that little tension <laughs> feeling of actually being trapped. Yeah. So um, I would have to recommend just anything in the Unmatched series. Yeah. Uh, this is a great addition to it. Yep. Um, I want your thoughts on should I even spend my money on Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Buffy. Like I, I have them all except for Buffy. Do I need to fill in my collection with the Buffy? Yeah, it depends on how, how strong that uh, completionist urge is. Do you need it all? Not as strong lately. No? Okay. no, not as strong. Like, I'm fine without Buffy, unless there's a reason that I should. Like, is there something in that set that maybe you've played, uh, that, you know, that, that tells you, yeah, it, it's, it's worth it. You it brings in a new it. mechanic, yeah. a new board, new something that says this is worth adding to your system, mm -hmm. even if it's just for the playboard or some of the fighters in there. So put that in the comments. Yep. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little playthrough of Unmatched right. Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf. I'm Carlos. I'm Rob. Beans and Dice Podcast, a podcast about how, how we, we game. game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Thanks for watching the Beans and Dice Podcast. Don't forget to like and subscribe.